हेलो टू ऑल वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑफेंसिव हैकर एसोसिएट कम्युनिटी सॉरी फॉर लेट पोस्टिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई वॉज बिजी विद अदर ब्लैक हेड प्रोजेक्ट सो डिडेंट फाइंड द टाइम टू अपलोड द पर्टिकुलर वीडियो बट दिस वीक यू विल सी अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियो फ्रॉम माई एंड टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज ऑफेंसिव क्लाउड पेनेट्रेशन टेस्टिंग हियर वी आर गोइंग टू टीच यू लाइक हाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट विद दिस क्लाउड पेनेट्रेशन टेस्टिंग एंड वट टूल यू रिक्वायर टू पेनेट्रेट ए डब्ल्यू एस Azure and GCP Cloud. Let's get started. I am Harshad, founder and CEO of Hacker Associate. Let's begin. So here you can find me. Okay, here by just searching on Google, Hacker Space Harshad, you will find my profile. You can please follow me there. Okay, like I am sharing a lot of interesting content over there. You can also follow me on Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, or wherever you are. Okay, you can follow me there. So regarding this, okay, you will see all introduction about me, what I have done in the past, and everything. So it will help you to understand what I do, okay, in a daily life. So here, if you just go to these areas, I'll just show you. And yesterday only, like I have shared, uh, excellent mind map regarding to the storage security. So you can simple go to the profile, and you can simple navigate to these areas. You can see clearly this is. Uh, cloud penetration testing and those who are interested okay specifically in azure storage assessment so non stop yesterday five hour i have discussed about storage penetration testing issues okay internal as well as external so if you see this is basically the image you know it's very complex complicated is very complex so it will take a time to understand okay if you are new to the azure but don't worry i am going to simplify everything okay in a proper manner in the coming sections and if you are interested okay, in cloud penetration testing you can go ahead and you can start with this program called offensive cloud penetration testing so all modules and everything written there okay inside this you can check the website hackerassoci.com and navigate to this particular page now let's start with the today topic so our today topic is cloud penetration testing and we will be focusing on how to hack azure uh, gcp and aws cloud so i'm going to share one uh, framework here which will help you out okay to assess Uh, this particular cloud a big giant we can say right so uh, let me just open one image right now for demonstration purpose because a short video i am just going to take a uh, azure as an example you can see this is basically azure and let me just open this one so you can see this is basically uh, the overall posture uh, so you can see clearly the attacker is there okay on left hand side and in the middle of the section you will see azure ad exploitation So, if you ever seen okay here Azure portal like this, this is Azure portal. You can see portal dot azure dot com, and here is my account okay, which I'm going to hide it okay in this particular video. And you can see simple, you can go to these areas, and you can see clearly we have a virtual network, a storage account, Azure Active Directory. So, this Active Directory we are using for authentication purpose and authorization purpose, right? This is basically the thing. And here okay, we have a domain hack second dot com, and we can see the users. here under this particular areas okay this is basically the user i don't want to show these users but these are the users available here right so basically the centralized management okay for authentication and authorization right you can see this is the azure ad exploitation part we will be learning okay and this guy basically try to bypass this one authentication and authorization so azure ad can be used to access external resources as well as internal resources right so we will be exploiting azure ad in the real time that is the answer okay lie under the ocpt section offensive cloud penetration testing so question here is what kind of framework we are going to use it specifically when it come with uh, come with the authentication and authorization issues right so if i give you one example if you go to that google chrome and if you simple type here i'll open by the way incognito mode so you can simple go to the login.microsoftonline.com and if you go there you can clearly see if i copy this link and go to the subline and if i paste here you can see what will happen so in this section if you see uh, this is basically the website you can see login.microsoftonline.com and you can see the token is passing which is auth 2.0 and we have a client id and we have a redirect uri somewhere here okay in this particular and point and you can see scope is open id profile is going to take and you can see is http office.com right and i'll search redirect uri here the direct you can see redirect uri is redirecting to this one so if you don't know what is auth and everything i have already recorded the video on youtube 
then she will go here and she will just search here OAuth 2.0 by Hacker Associate. You will see my video available there. You can see this is video. You can also see these are the videos for OAuth authentication bypass. So the point, what is the point here? The point here is you can see when I log in to login.microsoft online website, you will see the token is passing. It's basically OAuth 2.0, which is used for authorization. For authentication, they are using Open ID, right? So here, how we are going to assess it? So not only this Azure, okay, basically handling OAuth. AW is also using OAuth, your GCP also using OAuth. We need to examine, we need to investigate, okay, like how is going to handle that particular token. So there are two popular token, if you remember, one is JWT and second is OAuth, right? So in this case, how you're going to exploit it? So I'm going to share, okay, one framework which I am using specifically for web application penetration testing and cloud penetration testing. So here, okay, is an example, Bubsu Professional, you can open. You can basically use any community edition by the way, it doesn't matter. So for a cloud penetration testing and high-end penetration testing, I am always using a, all professional tools, a licensed tools. So it will license under the hacker associate and if you simply go there, just it will take a time because I have installed a lot of extension over there. So it will take a time, just wait for it. Once it's going to load, then I'm going to show you. Uh, the one more uh, powerful extension for our cloud penetration testing is Burp Bounty Pro. So Burp Bounty Pro actually it is designed for web application assessment, but you can use okay for your cloud assessment. Why so? Because as I mentioned, authentication authorization is always important. Example in our case, as I already explained to you about AD exploitation. So if you log into MicrosoftOnline.com, they are using Auth 2.0. So it's very very important to understand how to exploit Auth 2.0 because there are many phases involved in this particular OS 2.0 so it can be possible one process could go wrong and that is basically the part of an attacker going to exploit it right that how it is so if you just see in these areas this is Bobsuit professional and in this area if you just go to the proxies uh, we can simply open the browser so let me just check here open browser here it is right so all token and everything you can simple open like this right so for example purpose what i can do is i can simple go to the login dot microsoft online dot com i'm just simple explaining the framework okay i'm not right now uh, going deeper okay in the azure environment i'm just giving you the framework which will help you to perform a penetrate testing on these particular giants aws gcp and azure okay so how you can handle the web part because mostly people are you know communicating via this portal which is portalazure.com most of the people handling through the portal and some like me like coders or developers or other thing they will use cloud shell like this so they will start cloud shell and they will run the code okay from these areas right this again i'll make a separate video on this but this is the way that's how we execute the code directly to the infrastructure right very basically the thing so what we want so we want if any application which is hosted example let's say on aws or azure how you're going to penetrate the front end the web part the the portal part so for this you can use the popular extension called uh, burp bounty pro so if you don't know what is burp bounty i'll explain to you in a detail burp bounty pro you can simply visit the website this is website vulnerability scanner so if you see burp bounty pro is basically website scanner as i mentioned you can use anywhere uh, you can also use this extension for api assessment offensive api assessment and by the way, we also have a program okay on API penetration testing in a blackhead manner. So if you want to learn API penetration test, not a normal way, a blackhead way, a blackhead approach, you can go to this program called as Offensive API Security. Further, so you can see this is cloud shell started. I can run the code from here as well. But I don't want to you know make this video complicated. Okay, I want to be uh, explained in a very easy manner so you can understand the thing and you can apply in your environment all this. Okay, so this is Burp Bounty uh, Pro and if you just see downside, okay, like uh, this is the free version and this is the pro version. In the pro version, we have a pro passive profile creation, active profile, scan through Burpsuit API, easy scan through right click and many, many smart options are available here. So how to use this extension? So I'll show you, you can open the Burp first. This is the Burp, right? I already opened the browser, which is here. And example, it's a take one application, example, it's a this application, uh, Ravage Band website. Okay, this is hosted somewhere, right? We have no idea. So, same way you open whatever the application like uh, Cloud Portal, Azure Portal, AWS Portal, GCB Portal or any application which you hosted 
under this particular platform right you simply browse it and each and every information will come automatically under these areas okay and as i mentioned you can see login to microsoft online.com you can see session token in the url you can clearly see that right that flag immediately will come there so you can easily analyze each and every end point uh, this i'll teach you how to configure properly in a more detail look in my program ovenzi cloud penetrating testing for this video i'm just explaining the framework how to use this particular framework so if you go to this application suppose this is my target i can select okay to scope and this scope tab is highlighted a filter apply and you can see this is highlighted for any application assessment we require parameters so you can see these are the parameters are there you can see right click send to repeaters you can see repeater tab is highlighted and if i right click you can see extension bar bounty pro so when you see the bar bounty pro when you click on active scan you can see this many vulnerability you can directly scan for this application so it's very useful okay specifically you are if you are assessing api endpoints and like this api part specifically Uh, SQL injection or API command injection or API all server side vulnerability. If you are looking for this action, she will help you out. Okay, right? And here you can see for example, if I want to scan for this application or this particular website, I can simply search here smart scan. Which endpoint? So this endpoint. Okay, only this endpoint I am scanning. Go to the extension bar bounty pro smart scan, and you can simply see here what will happen. So I scanned it, and you can see we have a red color. It means we have a success, and you can clearly see that. the bar bounty pro ul scheme uh, ssrf ul scheme is there you can see this one okay ssrf right you can simple request see file it is pass wd so it means if i send to repeater once again and if i send it here you can simple click on the render you can see clearly we get the username and details side right? username ravage band root and same way we can also look for the shadow password that's how it is okay so this framework will help you out because you can see is high and you can check the rules this rule basically going to detect profile is going to uh, you can see these are the profile this uh, profile okay is going to search accordingly when you trigger it this bar bounty pro and all this right so this is about it and in my program offense the cloud penetration testing i am teaching all this in more detail how to add your own profile okay how to add your own rules everything in a detailed manner okay this is more about okay about cloud penetration testing specifically if you are handling the web part or if you are handling the api part using the one framework you will be able to do all okay using a bar bounty pro and is amazing or even one more okay case i, I want to uh, discuss here if there is any firewall okay in between in mostly in cloud environment you will see lot of firewall okay in between so in this particular case how you are going to exploit right that also like i am giving answer okay in my program ovenzi cloud penetration testing Uh, which you can see here right this out is so i'll teach you each and every way all the all the method to bypass all these areas firewall is there how to deal with this how to perform manual penetration testing automated penetration testing insider outsider external okay everything we will be learning on this area but just for this particular video is basically deal with uh, penetration testing using a one framework which is bar bounty pro almost half of the part okay going to help you out okay throughout like any tokens available okay in the url endpoint detection vulnerability detection cve detection everything you can do with the one particular framework called bar bounty pro that's all for this video i hope you enjoy the video have a great day ahead see you in the next session bye time take care